and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this very Ei kovinkaan rauhalliselta. Oli kolmis sormis mai, oli reikä rauta braun. Ja tapahtuma paikana oli Jackson Willy Town. Hey, partner. Hello, dear. Hey there. Hello. Ensinnäkin, minä en ollut se, joka ampui tätä kaksi miestä. So welcome to our humble police house. What can I do for you? See, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he uh, wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you hundred dollars in fees. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatcher. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. You must be damn stupid if you think you can come back here. I'm reformed. You okay, buddy? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius. So we shall the hot poker up the ass. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind? European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? Good luck. No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betray and, and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, big nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, ladies. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, <chante. laughs> uh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe <laughs> I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. But I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. 
check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, if it's easy, game, I have to any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and hold the Zemites. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on both to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. The mine now, look! You avoid the mines, yes? That is what controls are for. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system under order. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunter. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Lucifer. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. Transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. can explore the sitting dock. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> yeah. This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Well, we'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of the rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools, and unlike fools, not fools then and I got the money are difficultly parted. And was this not difficult? It was difficult, but... <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. <laughs> no, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel. Can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. <laughs> it is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. I hope you will forgive my European coarseness. In the Balkans, we are a mannerless people, but we work hard. Now, let me go over the investment with you once more. No. It is for 
Just a small sliver of the miracles I can enact on this earth. If you will help me and not stab me in the ass like the other Americans. Traitors! All of you goddamn traitors! None of you has the wisdom to invest in my genius! Genius! Uh -huh. Friend. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. Yeah. The mind shudders. Uh, here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Uh, On this door. What's happening? I need a doctor. I'll get you help. Just you stay alive. Okay. Okay. Vähentää vammoja, mutta tää on silti niinku mahdollisimman nopeasti. Stay awake. Where? Where am I? Ouch. This is it. What is this? Do you need something? What are you doing? Hey, what did I do to you? My arm. I can't feel it anymore. All right, friend. All right, we're at the doctor. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Right here. You sit him down in this chair.
Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there you are. And I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Hey, this one had one that. Yeah. Sorry it's come to this. Ah, Jesus. Ei mitenkään hirveä siististi tehnyt tota edes. Hevosen ampuminen ei ole kunniakasta. Meistä ei ollut hirveän kunniakasta ampua hevonen, mutta se mennäisikin lähteä karkuun, niin siinä on niin kuin muuta tilannetta ollut. Ajattelin niin itse asiassa haavoittaa sitä, että se olisi heittänyt sen pois, mutta ei se sitten heittänytkään. Takajalani iso lihakseen tähtäisin, no joo. Mies valitettavasti huomasi, kun mä olin lähettävissä. Tietysti mä olin tyhmästä suunnasta tulossa.
ihan kivaa täällä. Ei näillä ole mitään kivaa. Take me to day of cork, then. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise no end. <clears throat> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You mean? No! Yeah! Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> They wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle. Lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned. <laughs> <laughs> half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no sir. It was lightning. Electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no niin. here we are. Tällä tää uhri on. Professor will be eh, real niin. pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, oh, I got her. You're wonderful, just, just wonderful. Come on, don't be shy now, let's go. Uh, put him down just there. <laughs> now where's my money? Um... <laughs> Money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Yeah, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Plum, poor watch. unfortunate. It'll be amazing. Come along. Guess I'm going on. Hey there! Shut up. Real good. Sen lähelle pääsis niin kuin ilman, että, että tulee havaituksi, niin voisi yrittää lassota 
ja saada kiinni. Elävänä noista kai maksetaan vähän enemmän. Vangin ah. vienti. On joku vanha linnake. I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes. God damn it! Oh, Tornis, I'm losing. Look, gonna keep at it. Kyllä se on tuo ylhäällä. Oh, 
poimittavissa nimittäin. Toinen kortti. Okei, se kuoli tohon noin. Okei, sisällissodan aikana puukko. Tähän makaa perilläkin tavalla. Tuoda kuo sodassa kuolee niinku baseball kentällä. Well, I see you didn't get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. And where do you think you're taking that body? Teidät tietysti. I believe this body's worth something. Well now, so much for them boys being the terror of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. From the city of Sandani to you, sir, with thanks. That's it. Sata sen sai jopa. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Oh. Let me compose myself. Will you? 
why you're so flustered. Seem to catch a break today. Could be Roman. Hey, partner. Hey, ma'am. Morning to you. The man simply can't paint. Excuse me, partner. Look at these idiots. <laughs> Niin arvosta taidetta. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonay. Couldn't you paint it some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes of civilization, <laughs> repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the death of those hot You got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? <laughs> That's my mama. As nude as the day she was born. <laughs> Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop uh. looking at my mama. Well, maybe yeah. she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This yeah. is no place for us. Come here, hey. son of a bitch. Oh. You filthy little man. Oh, oh. come on, horse. We'll leave hey. it. I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Oh. This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not moving. To the vibe of your ideas, let me on. Archdest people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases will have punch holes through. I told you I was a fool ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. <laughs> Here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'll get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. Don't have to move into that home over there, guys. Die, baby. Ah, professori on tuolla. Listen to me, friends. This book, this precious tome, this passport to earthly paradise. I have written it for you, so that you can be like me, a rich, happy, successful man. Who? Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be fifty dollars. <laughs> fifty dollars for a book, and cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Forget about it. Huh? Well, you're lost, buddy. 
Buy my book! Read my book! Mind how you go. Exactly what I say, and you'll be rich. Rich, rich, rich! Compact! The finest cane! Expensive cigars! A wife with soft hands! A hundred servants! A mansion! A summer house by a northern lake! Guitello Square. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we are. <laughs> Sorry, man. Tää ei voi päättyä hyvin. Tää on ainakaan tolle yhdelle tyypille, tää ei tule päättymään. You're going to be in a better place. Stay calm. Breathe deep and repent. Or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold. The calm removal of this bad rauhalle, existence! In incredible! He's nearly dead! So humane! <laughs> Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. <laughs> Fine. 